For once, the balcony is silent. Wow. Now we approach the balcony. So, um, 30 years, this competition has been there, all three of us, or both of us have acted in this competition. Uh, it has a very rich history, it's, uh, everyone treats, his, treats it like the uh, foundation for the Shakespeare competition. Uh, we usually uh, get a bunch of actors, uh, train them, and get them uh, ready for the Shakespeare competition. We use Dramcom for that. And I think most of you guys also uh, do that. And over the years, the competition, uh, your last year I was a judge, and what I saw is uh, the message, because theatre is all about message, and the message you give to the audience. And uh, back in our day, 10 years ago, when we performed plays, we used to like, do a rape, only play, a comedy, and get away with it. But now, it's really good to see that the schools are thinking about the script, the message, the theme, and that was amazing to see. And, and I think everyone, all the four schools, um, deserve a round of applause for their amazing. <laughs> Having said that, the one thing that doesn't change over the years are the hormones at the balcony. Right? The people who are. Uh, and for some reason, um, I think you're lucky to support these schools, correct? I'm, I'm hoping you're going to support your school. Yes, exactly. But what you're doing is causing more damage. Like for example, AP had to run upstairs and shout at you guys, right? And at that point, he missed part of the play as well. So that affects the judging process for that particular performance. And I think the guys who were shouting came here to support that particular school, which was the fourth performance I think. So it's not fair for the actors, but it's, it's the one thing that just pisses me off. So when you come from a play at the next side, please, just shut the beep up. Okay? Right? Now, the comments, I'll hand it over to Charmi, otherwise I'm getting angry, so probably. Oh. So uh, I just want to follow up on what uh, Kehan just said because it's something that all three of us unanimously share. We are very, very, very disappointed with what the balcony did for the effort that was being made on stage. There were your friends, your colleagues who had put in a lot of work, a lot of hard work, sweat, blood, tears, toil, to come up here and perform and represent their schools your schools. What you did was you let them down, you let the competition down, and you let yourselves down, but most importantly, you let your school down. So I would like to ask, what is the point of you being here if you're not going to support your friends? So please, I would uh, entreat the organizers from next year, I know they may be your friends or you may not feel comfortable paying them off, but as as an organizer, if you all can actually uh, strengthen your rules so that you throw the hecklers out. This is, guys, a competition. I understand that entertainment is about uh, enjoying yourselves, but there is a time and place to enjoy yourselves. If you want to shout, if you want to heckle, if you want to make a complete ass of yourselves, go somewhere else, go to a party, go to a match, you know? Uh, don't come here and ruin what could potentially be a career for some of these people because you you really don't do justice to what your school or your parents have taught you. So now I agree. <laughs> Thank you.
few general comments, uh, things you can take back to make the Shakespeare competition. So starting with school number one, um, I thought the script, where we have the script, it was brilliant. I mean, it was, it was fantastic. The message was current. Uh, we all could relate to it. Uh, something which Shanti told me about the performance was going on is that uh, amazing how these kids have managed to put everything into 30 minutes, everything that's happening in this country. So amazing job. But when it comes to casting, I thought it was weak. I thought the execution could have been better. Uh, if uh, what was missing was the acting did not complement the script. And just a strong script is not enough. And also, uh, just as much as the script, strong acting is not enough. You need a strong script as well. So that was a bit of a gap, and that is where it lacked. But in terms of direction, uh, there were some scenes that were amazingly well crafted. I thought the uh, the karao karao, balao balao, yeah. You know, scenes like that was really, really rough. So anything else you guys read? The social media factor, how you guys uh, brought it in. Maybe you all could have used uh, a few more sound effects maybe to bring it out so that people identify uh, with those noises, you know, with which, which uh, come on WhatsApp or Facebook, you know, when using a emoticon. Maybe those are small things. But overall, the, I thought uh, the effort put into the acting and the direction could have been much better. And uh, so next time when you cast, uh, cast carefully. Uh, a few memorable performances came from the battle ball. Right? And... A few, uh, a few technical things. School is here. Uh, when you are in light, I because I mean some of the actors didn't walk into light. Uh, for everyone, when you walk into light, your eyelashes feel heavy, and that's when you know you're in light. And when it's not, you're off light. So those are little, little things which you all need to know. And shuffling, don't shuffle because when you shuffle, it just distracts. It, it just breaks. And the other thing is, don't break character. For example, when the minister fell into the barrel, uh, he was being filmed by a film crew. So when he fell into the barrel, his, he was not conscious that he was being filmed. It's later that he realized, oh shit, right, I'm being filmed and uh, I need to do something for it. Okay, sorry, I'm going to shit. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so a few things like that. Uh, the characterization, uh, the direction, the, the acting, could have been much more tight. I mean, if, that, uh, if that was there, it would have been a really great production. Um, but like we mentioned, the theme, the plot of the play, while it was very sad that kids are actually picking up on what's actually wrong with this country, it's something you all should be performing more. I hope you all can craft and improve it more beyond the competition. It's a very good message to put out there. So I think Anand the college can take that and you know, spearhead that as a project if you can. Makes a very good statement. Okay. Moving to school number two. Uh, once again, a very interesting script, an interesting play. Something that stood out for all of us was the ensemble. How how well the, the, the teamwork that was brought to it. You know, it, just, it, just, it was amazing to watch. Uh, I, I thought the play uh, just stood out because of the entire cast. If the cast is here, uh, I think you all deserve a good round of applause because you all are here. Uh, just one note, if there was something that we could need to pick on personally, I thought you could have worked on the pace a little bit more because uh, it was a little slow at times, so it tended to become monotonous. So uh, that was my only note. School number three, and uh, I've written a general comment, I think uh, even Anand and all the other schools also need to take note. 
when the audience is laughing, always wait for the laughter. Because uh, if they are laughing and when you speak over the laughter, they are not going to catch what you are saying and they will miss part of the play. So always wait for the laughter. There is something you know uh, you guys need to do if you are doing, especially if you are doing a comedy, right? Um, there are some good scenes. I thought again another interesting script, uh, an interesting play. Uh, I thought the overall cast in terms of acting was a very strong cast, uh, but I think the play uh, in itself did complement the actors. Uh, one comment we had and what we uh, decided was that if you all chose a better play, I think it would have helped you all because you all had a really great cast, right? A good cast, a very powerful cast. Uh, some scenes were really tight, I think, were between Sasha and uh, well, what's the other character? Oh, yeah, yeah then, then, uh, scenes like that really helped it for me uh, when I was watching it. And then suddenly it just went into, uh, you know, the uh, I think one of the things that you need to be careful of when uh, crafting a play is there are different levels to how you can develop a script. So, first you take the issue and you take the issue line and you handle it and sometimes it's very easy to stop there and then you have a tendency to make the play a bit didactic, a bit too like let me tell you what, should, what it should be and that's I think something that the script could develop beyond. It could develop into something more. So think of the second level of development of this script. And that's something that I think you should really, really attempt. Because the issue is current, the issue is topical, but it's a very important issue, but take it to the next level. Where you find ways to articulate it without direct uh, document to style conversations. I think that's something that you really need to work on with this script. Maybe take it to that next level. Because once again, you have a great cast to work with it. Make sure that you use the next level of scripting to bring it out a lot. Uh, like I have to say, it's a very important play that you perform. And I'm, I'm someone who's very passionate about the subject matter, so I would encourage you, like I did to Ananda, please take this play, craft it more, use your school, use your talent to get this message out because it's very, very important. Just go beyond the documentary style of the script. Try and bring a little more entertainment value in that sense. And I think it will be not done. Uh, school number four, uh, Mahind, uh, great, great raw energy. And we thought there was a lot of physicality, and I think we saw every theater device bar maybe to be used in that entire excerpt. From the flashback to the rewind to the slow motion, you name it, everything was seen. But the one thing that you needed to be very careful about was your diction and your clarity. I mean, sitting five rows, six rows beyond, if we can't hear you articulating yourself properly, then you're letting that entire raw physicality and energy you have on stage down. So be very mindful because there were some beautiful pieces of choreography in that play. And it really, really worked in those bits. But once you started speaking, you let yourself down just that tad bit because clarity wasn't there and the quality of diction wasn't there. And that's important, guys, because that, that is pretty much part of how you communicate what you're doing. Unless you're doing a totally choreographed piece, which is fine, but that was what you were doing. So in that case, you need to get that quality of diction out as well. And uh, a really, really great work overall in that sense by the parents to work from being, you know, graceful to be in the menacing fairies without a costume change, just by posture and just by changing your positioning. Really great work. But uh, unfortunately, the one thing that led you down most probably was your clarity and the audibility of what you were saying. So to round off uh, the comments, one thing uh, which we saw was some players had a lot of energy uh, sometimes too much energy can lead it to ham acting where you overact. And uh, we saw it in bits and pieces in both production. Uh, also energy does not mean where you completely overdo it. Sometimes it can be just holding a look. That is also it and you need energy for that. Uh, so that said, uh, it was an amazing uh, night of theatre. Uh, and one more thing is to always, you can get on stage, 
The only advice we can give you is just have fun on stage. Because it's all about having fun. And the more you enjoy yourself on stage, is when you have to perform well. Right? That's the only advice we have for you tonight. So I'll hand it over to the hosts to give away the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that part of the night you've all been waiting for. That part where me and Praveen drag things out as much as we can for no apparent reason just so we can create suspense. You guess it, the awards. To give out the awards for the best supporting male portrayal and female portrayal, please welcome on stage Mrs. C. L. Ardinger.
winners of the best lead male and female portrayals will not be handed out this year. So they will not be handed out. The award for the most memorable performance goes to goes to the golden.
you say you guys you will our senior games masters thank you sirs all the support and the encouragement given to us ayush thank this is no city silva dj chat isha club of royal college now i would thank the prefects council and the district council especially the magic card for grace and peace jp now is a big thank you for all the sponsors with our food is given to that big place this is sunil balan nagar of sunil balan nagar trust thank you very much for all the support salam bhai but a lot of the of ENC for coming forward and helping us Thank you. Thank you.